Well, I think you've got to look at certain players that I mean, are not in the top 32. They obviously don't want to be drawing the top boys like Phil, Adrian, Gary Anderson. There's always every year one or two take the top boys out and have a good run in the tournament. So they'll all be on their toes on their first round match. It's been a gentle draw, I think, to the, the big players. Um, you know, when you're a top player, you always look at what's a great draw and what's an easier draw, which is a hard draw. Uh, the one floater outside of the seeds was a guy called Dave Chisnell. Uh, he's been uh, with us for a year now and he's an exceptional player. You know, I think Adrian's now starting to play really well. I mean, he's, he's done well this year. He had a transition of new darts starting in August with Target and they are, he reckons they're the best darts he's ever thrown. I think Adrian, he, he's quietly confident. He ain't going to go around shouting off, I'm going to do this, but he's confident he can retain it. I think Phil Taylor's in the form of his life. It's, it's, it's very hard to say he's getting better, but I think he is. People ask me, how is he getting better? Well, he's actually winning legs that he used to lose because he's so consistent. He just puts pressure leg on leg on his opponent. And you know that if you miss, he's going to take it out as he does time and time again. In Adrian, won't bottle it. If Adrian's on his top game and he gives him a chance, you know, he will take it. I think Phil knows Adrian can do it and he'll, you know, he knows he's got to be on his top game as well. The lad's talent. He, he, he's still a young man, a boy in a sense. Um, I think what's happened this year, I think the pressure of being a world champion has got to be more than what he realised or, or his management realised. There's going to be pressure in that first round. If he gets over that first round, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with because of his prolific scoring. I think that's what's good with the darts. You can bet on who's going to get the most 180s, what's going to be the first double. Anybody can be beaten in the first round, so there is some, there's some massive values uh, when them first rounds come out, and, and you look at the odds, and if you know the players, you can, you can certainly take a few quid. You can say, look for value at 20 to 1. There ain't no value that ain't going to win. Value is a winner, and uh, I really can't see anybody from Phil Taylor. And I remember a couple of years ago, a gentleman dressed up as a tree. And they all waved, I'm afraid maybe one beer too many, and the tree fell over. And they were all singing, tree fell over. And uh, they just pick the way they dress up. They take a lot of time. I mean, I think instead of buying their Christmas presents, they're trying to work out what they're going to wear to go to the World Championships. But, I mean, it's just a fantastic um, atmosphere. When they open the doors, you see a dozen Mexicans come in. You think it's the Alamo walking in. Then you see the Father Christmases, and then you see Tiller girls come in. It, it's great to have that party atmosphere. So they come along, they have a great Christmas party, they watch the best art players in the world live on TV. You know, you, you, that can't be beaten. Labrooks have been fantastic and, you know, the players and everybody really appreciate, you know, the sponsorship. Yeah. It is nice when you get the association with a company uh, and it goes over a long time because then you know the worth of what both people want and, and it does it does work hand in hand. And now Sky are putting, you know, big money behind it as in the production side of it. And uh, there's nothing better than watching over Christmas in Labrooks World Championship.